So if you've ever fancied making some honeycomb, let's do it. There's a recipe. What we have there is golden syrup, bicarbonate of soda, unsalted butter, golden caster sugar, pretty much any sugar is okay. Avoid the very dark ones like muscovado, it'll go too dark. I use a sugar thermometer, although if you have an electronic thermometer, it should be fine. A little bit of water and get your tray ready with baking parchment in it. Be ready ahead of time because you don't want to be doing that at the last minute. Clean the pan by boiling some water in it and that will get rid of all the bits of grease and muck. Anything like that is going to basically run the risk of you crystallising your caramel and you'll have a rubbish honeycomb. In with the sugar. So get the golden syrup and then the butter in, add the water and let this thing simmer away. You may have noticed I'm wearing a slightly different nail varnish, but that's actually my daughter. She decided to give me a hand, which is very nice of her. So as sugar wants to melt and boil and then become caramel, you've got to treat it very, very gently. Try not to be too vigorous when you stir it. You can shake the pan a bit, you can tilt the pan. Try not to get the sugar up too far up the sides of the pan. That's where it crystallizes and it could ruin your caramel. I've forward fasted quite a lot there, but you can see the process. The thermometer is in there. I want to get this to 140 degrees centigrade. That is, oh god, how much is it? I can't remember. I'll show you on the screen in a bit later, but it's about 280 something Fahrenheit. Seriously hot. Be very, very careful. Well, you notice here, as I zoom in, the bubbles start to get bigger. That means the water's pretty much gone now. It's all evaporated. All that's left is for the sugar to get hotter, the caramel to get darker. Once you're at 140 degrees, which is called small crack, there we go on the screen, 284 Fahrenheit. Once you get to that temperature, you've got to act very quickly because the sugar will just keep cooking and will burn. So I've taken it off the stove, it's reached 140. Got to get the bicarbonate in. Watch the magic happen. Oh, I love this. I'm gonna realize that the spatula's not doing the job, so get the whisk in there. Get it mixed in as quickly as you can. And please, my God, be really, really careful. This will leave you a horrible burn if you get this on you. I have to apologize for the camera work, being very amateur. But as I say, if lots of you subscribe, I can get another camera, because i make some money from this. My god, it's dangerous. Seriously, be as careful as you possibly can. You don't want to get this on your skin. So, as it cools down, it's going to bubble away. It doesn't take that long to cool. But once it is cooled to room temperature, you can do this with it. And that is fun. And then if you're wondering how crunchy it is... Very crunchy, indeed. Feel free to melt some chocolate, dip that in it, and you've actually got crunchy bars. Anyway, so thank you very much for watching this episode of Uncle Matt's Cookery Lessons. I hope you enjoyed this one. I hope maybe you give it a go. Feel free to subscribe, give me a thumbs up, and check me out in the next video, which will be very, very soon, I'm sure. Anyway, this one's over. Bye.